welcome to Puzzle Master. This is the Puzzle Guy and in this video I will show you how to solve Explosion Cube Puzzle. This puzzle was designed and made by Vinko or Václav Obshevac, Czech puzzle designer who creates high quality wooden puzzles. Difficulty level of Explosion Cube is 9 out of 10 on a Puzzle Master's difficulty scale that runs from 5 to 10 and the object of the puzzle is to take it apart and to assemble it again. This puzzle has four parts and it is a coordinated motion puzzle which means that uh, you have to uh, take it apart and then put all these parts back together in one smooth motion, which is going to be quite difficult to do. If you like Explosion Cube Puzzle and you want to buy it, go to puzzlemaster.ca and if you want to see the solution of this puzzle, keep watching the video. And now I will show you how to solve this puzzle. So uh, at a first glance, it looks like it is completely the same from each side and you don't even know where to start uh, solving this puzzle but what you have to try to find is uh, some parts that are connected together that means that this cube is uh, connected with this one this one is connected with this one or maybe this one is connected with this cube or with this one so you have to figure out uh, the pairs of cubes that are uh, that goes together to do it you can just try to move some of the parts as you can see there are small gaps between parts you can move some of them and see if the second part is moving as well so like these probably these two come goes together that's mean that these two will go together as well and the next step to take it apart you have just to grab these two parts and these two parts and pull them in different sides and you will see that the puzzle is almost disassembled and why this puzzle called explosion cube uh, that's mean when you're solving it and you uh, almost uh, found the solution you uh, do this motion and that's what happens everything just falls apart and that is why it's called explosion cube so to take uh, to put it back together what you have to do is to find pairs of parts which comes together so these two comes together these two comes together as well. Now you have to find the way how to connect all uh, four parts together. It's better to do on a, uh, any surface like table or something, since if you try to do it in hands, uh, you're not going to be able to put all parts in a correct position. It's better to do it on a table. So now we have to figure out how to put the rest parts. It's much easier to do when uh, the puzzle uh, is disassembled like and you try to put uh, three parts together so like this let's see probably these three parts no they don't come together but this piece probably is supposed to be right here or maybe yeah it's supposed to be something like this or maybe no yeah that is quite a challenging one to uh, assemble it back so let's try again so these two parts this they come together like this these two goes together this way and now we have to just put them in a correct way so that's going to be like this this piece is going to be here this piece is going to be here and we have only one part left which we have to put inside somehow but that's going to be quite a challenge and as i told you you have to do it on a table all what you have just to do is to pull these parts apart stick here the last piece it's going to be like this and now try to put all parts together with one smooth motion but uh, take a closer look that each triangle is going to go inside the cube and that is the most difficult part since you have to do it in one motion but before that you have to put all parts in a correct position so now it looks like everything is set and again in one motion it was not very smooth but i've been able to put all four parts together back into cube shape so quite a challenging puzzle not only challenging to put together but also difficult to find the way how to take it apart 
If you like Explosion Cube and you want to try some other great puzzles designed by Vinco, go to puzzlemaster.ca. See you next time.